Hello there. In this video series, you will learn about new major simulant capabilities from the past five years or so to help you work more effectively and efficiently. Each topic you see here will be one video in the series. We'll talk about ways to edit models at the speed of thought, componentize your design, model runtime software, speed up your simulations, analyze simulations, run algorithms on hardware, manage projects, and manage design data. My name is Ed Marcus, and I'm a product manager for Simulink at MathWorks. Welcome to new ways to work in Simulink. Most likely, you're already using MATLAB and Simulink. And I wanna show you this to give you an idea of the workflows and applications that we cover with our integrated environment and the add-ons that build on top of MATLAB and Simulink. You have tools for math, statistics, and optimization, application deployment, automated report generation. You also have tools for physical modeling, event-based modeling, verification and validation, and more. And our tools also help you solve problems in the applications of control systems, signal processing and communications, computer vision, and so on. In our videos, we're going to focus on Simulink. And as a refresher, Simulink is a platform for simulation and model-based design. With Simulink, you have the ability to model and simulate your system. And this gives you a way to explore a wide design space. So you can model the system under test and the physical plant. And your entire team can use one multi-domain environment to simulate how all parts of the system behave. Simulink also helps you test early and often, and that helps you reduce the need for expensive prototypes by testing your system under different conditions that may be too risky or time consuming to consider. And you can also validate your design with hardware in the loop testing and rapid prototyping, all while maintaining traceability from requirements to design to code. And finally, you can automatically generate code so instead of writing thousands of lines of code by hand, you automatically generate production quality C and HDL code that behaves the same way as the model that you created in Simulink. And then you can deploy that code directly onto your embedded processor or FPGA and ASIC. So before we go into what's new, here's what you should check out when you want to learn more. Let's start with the on-ramps. And these on-ramps are free, interactive tutorials that help you learn and get started with the products in a matter of hours. So there's one of those on-ramps for MATLAB, there's one for Simulink, Stateflow, Deep Learning, and also one for Machine Learning. If you want, want to get a high-level curated list of the major highlights that are coming out in Simulink every release, please check out our What's New page. And if you want to get all the details of what's new every release, then be sure to check out the release notes. Another great way to learn about new capabilities and workflows is through our blogs. And you can also get new software updates directly from the product. So all you have to do is go to the MATLAB tool strip, click the help dropdown, check for updates, and then you can get your software updates directly from MATLAB. Now, let's learn about new capabilities that will help you work more effectively and efficiently with Simulink. See you in the next video.